All right, guys, we are on our way to Joe Davies County. It is October, I'm sorry, today is November 10th, and as you can see, it's light out, sunny out. Um, alarms were set for this morning, but I got sick last night, so didn't make it out. However, for all of you get-together campers, I thought I'd just take a little trip down memory lane for you because I am at the campground. I drive by this most of the time on my way to to the lease, depending on from where I'm coming from. County Highway 3, Garden Prairie Road. So, let's see. I don't think they'll let me in though. Pretty sure this place is pretty well closed up anyways. Yeah, you can see everything's closed for the season. After 250 feet, turn right, Station Street. Anyways, we're about an hour, a little over an hour and a half away from Joe Davies. Right. I was hoping to be there this morning to hunt, but obviously it didn't happen, so we're gonna get out there. Hopefully we'll find my rangefinder. And we'll find it's still working. Sorry about all the GPS. Anyways, we'll find my rangefinder and we'll get up in the tree. Temperature's 41 degrees right now. So, we had a good buck put down on film yesterday at this exact same location. So, see what happens. See you in a little bit. All right, we just got out here and uh, actually decided to run into Galena to go grab some lunch and use the restroom because we're gonna be sitting out here until dark now. So just a few minutes ago, just down the road, actually in, crossing into our our lease, just saw a small buck run across the road down there. So it's uh, just before noon and they're moving right now. So I'm gonna get dressed, grab our stand and get to the tree. All right, everybody, it's November 10th. Uh, quick happy birthday to my mother today. Uh, is also She's also in the musical in our town, so I hope she has a good performance tonight. Uh, we are once again back out in Northwest Illinois and just went ran down quickly and just glanced at the camera. There were some photos on there. Uh, I don't have my glasses, so I'm not able to see quality of the photos, but at least there are some more deer still coming through here. So we saw a deer crossing the highway uh, just as we were coming in as well. So we're gonna uh, get our paint on and sit quiet until dark. So hopefully we'll have some stuff moving today. If you guys haven't checked out Camo FX, it does not get any easier than that. And this stuff comes off super easy, so. We did do a search for my rangefinder. Fortunately, we didn't find it. Uh, we've got a lot more leaves on the ground now than we had a week ago. So, uh, it's probably just buried under the leaves, unfortunately. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get some movement. I just looked up the lunar times. And sunset today is at 444. If you remember last week, we had the time change last weekend, so it's gonna shorten our day quite a bit, but so we have till uh, 514 today. I haven't seen anything, lots of cars going by. Big difference in the amount of leaves that we have on the trees just in this week. But I don't think the cars can see me. I did hear a couple horns earlier. I don't know if we got deer crossing the highway or what. I haven't seen anything yet. I want to take 
a second to thank everybody on my YouTube page for still following me. I know a lot of you guys are giving me encouraging messages and whatnot, so appreciate it. Not gonna give up. It's only early November, so we got plenty of season left. And I know there's still a lot of big bucks on this property and a lot of deer on that other property. We had reports on the Northeast property in Lake County that one of the big bucks got hit by a car. But I think that's bull because I got video footage of it a week and a half ago. And I think they said it got hit by a car two weeks ago. So I'm not, I'm not doubting that a buck got hit by a car, but I don't think it was one of the ones off of our property that, at least not one that we know about. First reports were it was Slick 9, but that's the one I got on video. So, I just hope it's not droopy. If you remember, droopy's got that right ear that just kind of hangs down. Big, big eight point. Not very wide, but real tall. So, let's hope that wasn't the one that got hit by the car. All of a sudden got really dark. I can see the line. There's a there's a front coming across right now. Temps dropped, winds picked up. Hopefully the deer are getting up and moving now because that happened quick. It's 3.30, we're still 45, no, we're still an hour and 15 minutes away from sunset. But with that front coming in, it's gonna it's gonna get dark long before that. So we'll see what happens. Oh, well, we're just about done here. It's actually a lot darker than it looks on camera. A couple squirrels running around, but that's about it, so. Temperature's really dropping. I could be surprised to have snow in the next couple days. So I gotta go truck shopping. Looking for a Ford F-150. Something a little bit bigger than what I have, a little bit easier to throw deer in. I guess if you don't shoot them, you don't need one, but oh well. <laughs>